I made my own custom skin and guys, it's terrifying. You guys know how excited I am about Fortnite Creative 2.0 and all the tools that we'll be able to get with that. I'm so excited about it that I've been exploring a lot of other cool creator tools out there, one of which is Core Games. I've been playing around with their awesome terrain tool, their NPC tools, their community tools, and a lot of different things. But today I really wanted to test out their different player abilities, how you can manipulate what the player does and how they interact with the world, and even give them their own custom skins. Now, if you don't know what Core is, guys, it is a really cool tool where you can create your own games, instantly publish them to the entire Core community, and play a bunch of other people's creations too. It's very similar to Fortnite Creative, but it has a lot of tools that we just don't have access to in the Fortnite Creative world. And it's recently come out on the Epic Games Store, which is really cool. One of the things I really love about Core is that they're always doing really cool events for their creators. And Core is hosting a new one called the Core Summer Games Jam with $25,000 in cash prizes on the line. The jam runs from May 27th to June 21st, and we'll have game creators competing to make awesome, gorgeous arenas. Or you can even recreate and reimagine a real world or a fictional sports game. Core's free to use, and the jam is free to enter. I have a link in the description below with more info on the Summer Games Jam. All right, guys, let's jump in and really play around with this awesome tool. Okay, here's my default starting area. I don't really love this, so I'm just gonna go up and generate a new terrain, and I wanna do a sphere world. I'm gonna make it a big world. All right, let's generate that. Okay, there we go, we got a big world now, and my guy can run around it. Okay, we're off to a good start. I just haven't really had a chance to play around with how your player works and manipulating what the player can do, like gravity and that kind of stuff, so let's play around with that. So if I go up to object here, there's a whole bunch of really cool things you can drop into your map. So under create settings objects, I can do create players settings. Oh boy. Now's where the fun starts, guys. So let's look at what we can change. Let's see here. We got ground friction here and max speed. What if I change my max running speed to 10,000? Okay. Oh my gosh. You definitely run faster. I can get around this world real quick. Whoa, I just jumped across. Oh no. I cleared the whole planet. I'm sorry, world. I miss you already. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, now I want to change the ground friction. I want to see if I can like make my guy slide around. Okay, so he's got a lot of speed. And then when I stop, oh, I can't stop very quickly. Oh yeah, yeah, look, when I run and then I just take my fingers off, he slides. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Wait, so what happens if I make it more than negative one? Let's make it negative 1000. All right, here we go. We're gonna run, 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 let go. Ooh, you know, it doesn't seem that different. So I don't know what the like parameters are to what you can and can't do on like sliding. Wait, I wonder what happens if I hit like a ramp. I'm just gonna look up ramp in the core content. Oh, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna drop in a sci-fi ramp here and we're just gonna like, uh, you know, slide right up to it. Okay, there we go. So if I, whoa, guys, I almost fell off the planet again. Okay, I'm gonna run right up to it and then, woohoo! Okay, okay, so you don't really like launch off this. Wow, dude, this could be really fun for like a speed run or something. I can make a whole map that was just like kind of like this weird physics and then like you're just trying to like survive as you go. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, what else do we got here? Whoa, we got gravity scale. Okay, wait a second. So what happens if I change this number to what? A thousand maybe? Okay, let's see. Oh, my guy can't jump. It's like too heavy. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Did you guys see that? So when I like fell off of this, ready? Here you go. It just like instantly drops down. That's actually kind of cool. So wait, 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 wait. What if I make this negative 1000? All right, let's see what happens if I go off this now with negative 1000 gravity. Whoa! <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world! What happens now? Does it just like keep floating away? Like if I sat here for the next five, 10 minutes, would it just keep getting smaller? I mean, that's how it would work out in space. You know, you just keep floating. I've always wondered how long I would scream if I got launched out into space. But I just be like, ah! until you just run out of breath and you're like, well, I'm just gonna float out here until I die of starvation or run out of air or something. I think that planet's getting pretty small out there. This is a good time for some uh, fast forwarding. Let's just see what it looks like in, I don't know, five minutes. Whoa, guys, check this out. We're definitely still floating out into nothingness. The planet's gotten really small and we're like, I don't know, floating out into another universe. I just want to get a view of it. <laughs> ah, we're going towards the sun. Don't look at the light. Yeah, I have no idea what would happen if I continued to like, just let this go, but I think we've got enough here. Okay, I need to switch the gravity back to normal so we can test this other stuff. Let's see, we've got jump speed. Okay, let's, let's up that to 9,000. Okay, here we go. We're gonna jump in. Boop! Whoa! There 
we go again. See you, cruel world. Wait, but we have gravity now. We're gonna float back down. Oh, we're coming back. We're coming back. So this is basically you've got Superman's powers. You got like super speed and super jump. Whoa! Wait, I wonder if with that super speed combined with the jump, is it gonna pull me back towards the planet? No, 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 I'm just falling, I'm just falling down. I love that you can kind of adjust all of this stuff, guys. Like we have some control in creative mode with like gravity or even having like sliding abilities, but it's really limited versus this, you have a lot of options. Like I was just playing around with this to get the physics to be a little bit closer to what Fortnite is and it's pretty close. And you could probably even make it so that like player one has different physics than player two or if someone is like a bigger character, they have slower movement and smaller character has faster movement. I just really think this is cool. Okay, so it's come to my attention that you can create your own skins in core. So I'm gonna make a mustard place skin, guys. So if I download this costume, I can place it over here on the map. And then when I start the game, I can have my guy run up to this and then I can push E for wear and then it changes into that skin. That is so cool. But I can also modify what this skin looks like. So I want to see if anyone's made like a mustard bottle or something. What's this? Condiments? Whoa, perfect. Okay, I'm going to import this. Then I'm going to drop the condiments into the map. And it looks like, well, they're all together. Ah, uh, but it looks like I can pull out the mustard bottle. Yes! Okay, I'm going to get rid of this label though. I'm just going to use this mustard bottle as like my body. Okay, guys, now give me a second while I try and pair this all up with the skin. mustard bottled skin I just made. The thing of your nightmares. But let's see if this actually works. Okay, we're gonna wear it. Ah! <laughs> Look at that big mustard booty there running around. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh, guys. I wish we had this in Fortnite so bad. Wonder if I can do emotes with this thing. Let's see. Oh, I think I can. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> How about the crying mustard bottle? Oh, why did you make me? Why? How about a good old like, yeah, yeah. Thanks for making me, dude. You're the best. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. I launched myself off into space. Ah! Whoops. I need to fix the gravity on this one. Mustard plays to the moon. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out Core. There's a link to them in the description below. I love you guys and have an awesome day.